Um, the last thing that I will talk about today is painting the sides of the canvas. So, um, for the most part, this is dry. There's a few places that are still wet on this. Um, whenever I do my canvases, especially in the early stages or sometimes before pre-paint, um, I will go in and I will paint the sides black. Um, I like to have a, a solid black frame all the way around and then I touch it up after the painting is finished uh, before I varnish and ooh, little robot. The reason for that is um, so this can look lovely hanging even without a frame. Frame can be pretty expensive, um, kind of a hassle so instead um, you can paint the sides and it'll look it'll look great hanging, you know, even without having a frame. Um, so yeah, that's what that's the last thing I'm gonna do today is pick a bit of black. For this, I'm gonna use the black gesso, um, which is the black acrylic primer, and I'm just going to the first coat of paint on the edges. Like I said, it's a nice even coat, but then later, if um, I accidentally paint on the edges um, during the painting process, I can just touch it up. It usually doesn't need much as far as touch-ups go. And then you've got a nice painting at the end that's, that's ready to just hang on the wall without any other steps and you have to frame. And I like doing it first or you know early on. It wasn't a big deal to do it after painting this because it's already black and it's getting painted over anyways. But you don't want to wait too late in the process, especially if you got a pretty blue sky up top and then you go and you start uh, painting painting black you might get it around the edges where you can see it. Um, unless you use like a, a paint, painter's tape, like masking tape, I don't have any of that right now. I just try to get really neat edges all the way across um, and avoid uh, having to use painter's tape. This is, this is painting on a budget, guys. If you're poor, limited materials, instead of that painter's tape, you can buy another tube of paint. Ooh. So I make sure I get these edges. Well, wow, I'm just knocking the paint over tonight. I lay this thing down. Sometimes it's hard to get these little edges. There we go. Again, this is not the finished piece. This is just uh, doing the values in black and white before we go in and paint the calico, calico here. You don't even need a lot of black gesso. Uh, I poured a little bit into this little mixing cup. There's like barely any paint at the bottom, and I'm just dabbing my brush into it just to get enough um, to coat the sides with. It's not quite as thick as the regular tubes of acrylic paint, um, so it does apply and uh, spread out really nicely. So, let's see. We're Getting the coat down here. There's different levels of quality as far as the canvases go as well. Um, this particular one is just on a standard 
like economy sites canvas that um, you can get at Michaels. So the edges are, are kind of thin so it doesn't take a large brush and you can just go right down the edge. And then the acrylic dries really fast and then we'll get the we get the side here, the bottom piece, and then we'll get that outside last. You can use black paint or you can use the acrylic gesso. Either one is fine. This is a good uh, primer for the canvas. And um, it just really covers it well, so that's why I'm using that just instead of uh, my black paint. It applies a little bit better without any added medians. about making sure you get these little edges I also see a place on here I need to touch up as well. A little white. It's not quite dry yet, um, so I'm going to let the three sides dry. I'm going to get the fourth side off camera. Um, that's going to be all for today. But thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any questions about the types of products I do um, use like daily, like I can um, answer your questions in the comments below. Um, this will be posted on YouTube later this week. And I'll probably also do some some videos. Uh, I'll have to use my phone for that to uh, record some materials. Um, as you can see, the the text is all mirrored in the camera, so you can't really see. The